Now let us learn about the different types of functions. Okay, just for fun, let us assume ourselves to be mathematicians and learn things in a more mathematical way. So mathematically we can represent this as f of a is equal to 1 and similarly for other elements also f of b is equal to 2, f of c is equal to 3 and f of d is also equal to 3. Now when we talk about the figure 1, it has one pair of elements that's c and d in domain which has the same image 3. So this type of function is known as many to 1. But in figure 2, all elements of the domain have different images. Therefore, this type of function is known as 1 to 1. 1 to 1 function. If f is a function from a to b for all x and y that belongs to a, there exists f of x and f of y that belongs to b. Now, if f of x is equal to f of y, this implies x is equal to y. This is the definition of a one-to-one -one function. Let us try to understand this. It says that if the image of two elements of a domain are equal, that is f of x and f of y, then the two elements must not be different and they are also equal like x and y, they are equal. So, in one-to-one -one function, it is not possible for the same image for two different elements of the domain. Functions which are not one-to-one -one are known as many-to-one. Let us do some examples to understand it in a better way. Find which of the function is one-to-one -one and which of them are many-to-one. F is a set of 1,5 2,5, 3,5 and 4,5. Second, f is a function from r to r such that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. The solution. Here the image of 1 is 5. The image of 2, 3 and 4 are also 5. So, since many distinct elements of domain have the same image 5, in this case, we find that f of x is equal to f of y. That is, 5 is equal to 5. But we got x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Therefore, x is not equal to y. So, this is not a 1 to 1 function. Or we can say that f is many to 1. f is a function from r to r such that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Let x and y belong to R and there exists f of x and f of y both belonging to R such that if f of x is equal to f of y implies 2x plus 3 is equal to 2y plus 3 implies 2x plus 3 minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 implies 2x minus 2y is equal to 0, which implies x is equal to y. So, in this case, f is a 1 to 1 function. In figure 1, all elements of the codomain have pre-images in the domain. So, such functions are known as onto functions. But in figure 2, one element of the codomain, that is uh, number 5, does not have any pre-image in the domain. Therefore, this type of function is known as into function. In this type of a function, there will be at least one element in the codomain which does not have any pre-image in the domain. Let us understand it by its definition. Onto function. If f is a function from a to b such that for all y that belongs to b, there must exist an x that belongs to a such that y is equal to f of x. From this definition, it is clear that all the elements of the codomain must be an image of an element in the domain. 
in other words we can say that there are no such elements in the codomain which are not an image of any element of the domain then this type of a function is known as onto function into function functions which are not onto are known as into functions let us understand with the help of a few examples find whether the given number is onto or not f is a function from r to r such that f of x is equal to 3x plus 7 solution here the domain is real numbers and codomain is also real numbers so for all x belongs to r is the domain and all y belongs to r is the codomain now let y be f of x or y is equal to 3x plus 7 now y minus 7 is equal to 3x or y minus 7 by 3 is equal to x since y is a real number then y minus 7 by 3 is always a real number if the image of an element is the same as its pre-image then this type of function is known as identity function for example f of 1 is equal to 1, f of 2 is equal to 2 and so on. Identity function. If i base a of x is equal to x for all x belongs to a then i base a is known as the identity function on a. If the image of all the elements of domain is a constant or the same, then this type of function is known as constant function. For example, f of 1 is equal to a and f of 2 is equal to a, f of 3 is equal to a, f of 4 is equal to a and so on. Constant function. A function f from a to b is known as a constant function. If there is an element c in the set b such that f of x is equal to c for all the x that belongs to a let us see one example on the screen f is a function from a to b a is a set of 1 2 3 and 4 and b is a set of 2 4 6 8 and 10 where f is defined as f is a set of 1 comma 6 2,6, 3,6 and 4,6. Here all the elements of domain have the image 6. So this function is a constant function. Equal function. Two functions f and g defined on the same domain d are said to be equal if f of x is equal to g of x for all the values of x belongs to domain d this is the definition of equal functions but let us try to understand it with the help of examples two functions f and g defined on the same domain d are said to be equal if f of x is equal to g of x for all value of x belongs to d let us find the images of 1 2, 4, 5, 6 in f of x where the domain d is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. f of x is equal to 9 minus x square by 3 minus x. When x is equal to 1, what is f of x? If x is equal to 2, then what is f of x?
and if x is equal to 4 then what is f of x? Now you can see the images of different elements of domain on the screen. If x is equal to 1, then f of x is equal to 4. If x is equal to 2, then f of x is equal to 5. And if x is equal to 4, then f of x is equal to 7 and so on. Now you can see that f and g are not the same expression on the same domain d. But f of x is equal to g of x for all x belongs to the domain. Images of elements of domain in both figures are same. So f and g are known as equal functions. Let us check whether f and g are equal. For what we will find the image of all the elements under f and then under g separately. If we get the same image of elements of a by both the functions then they will be equal. Here f and g are functions from a to the set of real numbers such that f of x is equal to 343 minus x square whole divided by 49 minus x square and g of x is equal to 49 plus 7x plus x square whole divided by 7 plus x. Then f of 1 is equal to 7.125 and g of 1 is also equal to 7.125. We can see that the image of all the elements is the same under f and g. So, they are equal functions. Now, let us move to the composite functions and understand it.